Alrighty, so this isn't really a DIY video since I already have a DIY video on how to do both things that we're doing today, but it's going to be an update video for the G35. Um, we do got an oil catch can, uh, but what we really, really need is an oil cooler. Uh, we have a trigger spec one that I bought um, and a front bash bar that's inside that we're going to be throwing on. But pretty straightforward. Uh, bumper on the G35 should be these little quick tabs that I just broke. I'll probably need a zip tie anyway. I have like a hundred pack of those. I need to find where they're at because I definitely could use all those now. I think they might have been in my old G. So, but pretty much take all these tabs out. Should have them here. Doesn't doesn't surprise me. Zip ties do just the same. Um, realistically, what I'll probably do is just get more tabs for that put them in the middle sides um and this whole thing comes out as one piece or you can take it off down there i'm just gonna do the whole thing as one piece because it's easier and i think the only thing holding it on oh there's a bolt here actually should be one there there is not um i have a zip tied because drift car so i'm gonna get all that stuff off and ready to go these ties should probably get replaced at some point i'm just looking at shit um, we're gonna get it off and get the car on ramps that way it's easier and I don't need to jack it up um, And at that point I should be able to put on the bash bar and do the oil change and all that stuff So first I'm gonna do the oil cooler kit um, And then once that's on I'll do the bash bar because that's pretty straightforward and easy to do plus I have open space So let's get to it. Alrighty, so we are up on ramps Close enough. That one was good um pretty straightforward in theory this should not be broken um as it is <laughs> so this shouldn't be broken which holds the headlight in oh this whole headlight unit is just kind of chilling on its own nice good to know that should be connected up there and then bolted in there you know what? let me see if i can bolt that in that way it at least has one bolt there we'll, we'll see if we can get that um i could probably i don't think i could zip tie that then this water cooler well not water cooler but i'm gonna see if i can make a bracket for this or not a bracket an adapter that way i can have this i think that's supposed to go inside there honestly though i don't know um i'm planning to make this a oil or not oil, a water sprayer for the rear tires so Ideally, I would run a line from the back of this, that little hose. So I'd run a line from the back of that, tuck it pretty much on the frame rail, go all the way back, and then do tire sprayers. Probably easiest way would be some type of mount on a flush surface. So yeah, I can maybe like drill in right here and then have the sprayer just directly go on the tires on both sides. So that's a that's a thought but not for today um so yeah pretty much it should be one tab there i mean well the bumper's off so should be tabs up front if you do it one whole piece if not you can take uh the grill out and do it no point to really though um but yeah all the tabs up top should be something here and on the sides but mine does not have that obviously now I'll need to see on the oil cooler, um, more than likely I'll probably have it on this little inlet hose and maybe take this off. I think if I can unbolt it, yeah. So there's that little tab there. There's another tab, I believe on the back of this. Yeah, right here, or just a clip, maybe, I can't see. Yeah, so take those two off. That way uh, the oil cooler will in theory sit where that intake duct is um i'll move all this harness away and see what i can do for that uh, maybe run it a little lower and then i also still need to see where i'm putting this stuffs um but yeah in theory it should be going there so it gets the best airflow um that should be like that i believe yeah don't know what happened probably the accident uh, when drifting i don't know either way um pretty easy to take this off this little accessory bolt up here and then the four main bolts there and down there well six total actually i guess new one only has four 
but six coming off. So, in theory, G35 and 350Z should all be the same. So, I'm uh, gonna take those bolts off. That way I can get this unit out. I believe that should be, that looks like a 10 and then 14, 10 and a 14. We'll see real quick. Alrighty, so it is a 10 up top and 12s for the rest. Um, quick tip, if, I mean, if you're doing this at the same time, um, I'm just draining the oil while I'm uh, letting, pretty much just letting the oil and then I'll get the filter right now since that's dripping. Letting that drain while I take all this off, might as well multitask and get it done quicker. So, but yeah, so these are 10 and then 12s, two 10s, four 12s on each side and then this whole thing comes off uh, if anybody wants it let me know buy me a carne asada fries or burrito actually i'm healthy now buy me an acai bowl and it is yours okay so this is mounted here and this one is mounted everywhere but not here oh that's broken off that's why okay cool good talk good talk 10 out of 10 already um yeah so that is uh that is that uh so yeah we're just proceeding all right, so got that off, got it over yonder. Um, pretty easy and straightforward. Um, looking at it, I believe, just because how those line up, looking at it, either I'm gonna have to cut this off here, which isn't a big deal, um, so it mounts flush, or those two are kind of like guide holes that'll go into the bash bar there um actually i don't even know if it's hollow i'm pretty sure it's flat the whole way so let me see yeah so it's flat the whole way so i will have to cut those off um should be able to do it just a razor blade i would believe um either way you have a little bit of protrusion from here so it's not too big of a deal um let me just see if this cuts. Yeah, so you can use just a razor blade. So cut these off, make that flat and flush, and then that should be ready to go for the bar. Um, got the oil draining from the uh, oil filter housing there. This is the trigger spec kit. Um, got thermostatic, obviously. Um, might as well, since you're there, it works pretty straightforward and easy. Um, Top lines go onto there, route them in, should be pretty straightforward and easy to do. Um, and yeah, just going from there. The only thing I do need to do, which my other kit, I think I got a Mishi kit on my old Z. Um, I don't know if it came with a bracket and I just got an Amazon one, but I do have to drill the holes for those two bolts there, which isn't a big deal, or I can just drill self tappers. Um, hopefully my drill, should be able to cut through this hopefully um if not i'll have to figure that out real quick but hopefully it should be good to go um worst case i can just temporarily mount it up and take it to a buddy or something like that but it's not a big deal so it should be pretty straightforward from here so surprisingly got it right the first time just eyeballed it um i did trim a little bit on this piece back here um, where those little fins are and come out, but I'm keeping a little bit of space that way it kind of pushes up against it, um, keeps them holding. So it's mounted pretty well. It does move back and forth a little bit. I could do a self tapper like here and I'll probably actually do a self tapper on this side. I don't know if that'll reach because it has a little area right there. Might do a self tapper like all the way up there just so it has less flex over there. But in theory, it should be okay. It seems pretty hard mounted. Uh, Rerouting this wiring so it goes kind of under, tucked up in here. And that should be good in theory. Um, if I wanted to be super smart, I would take off the oil cooler and then zip tie this around it and then bolt it back on. But we're gonna just do whatever works. So we'll find how that works shortly. Oh, it should be all drained out from there. And then just pretty much routing the lines is gonna be the only thing from this point forward. I moved this to the left a little bit. So I have some clearance. 
and then probably gonna zip tie this portion up here so that at least holds that and not wiggles back and forth so yeah all right so we have the cooler on um the lines i'm assuming are going to be running that way and then kind of tuck up in there like my old z um to put on the cooler or sandwich plate technically uh facing down i thought it might be up to get the lines tucked up more but you do not have space to do it in the upward position um because you'd be hitting that so it's like that and the socket size i randomly have is a 1 16th you can see that you can't really see it because it's all faded but it's a 1 at 1 16th and that fits on that perfectly it doesn't need to be super tight or anything um i wanted i did it hand tight i'm like you know what let me just be safe get one little turn like a quarter turn like that and it should be good to go so um now i'll run the lines i'll probably start here and then route them out from there um you can double check these for any leaks there shouldn't be um on these allen head or anything like that um but yeah you can tighten it a little bit but those should not be leaking from factory or from where you get them from so time to route the lines all right so i have it routed as such uh, it's not fully tight yet um i still have play here because i'm gonna tighten these two up i'm gonna try to push these in so they're pretty much flush with itself um it shouldn't be hitting the bash bar in theory um but just to make sure, even though maybe when I tighten it, it should probably hold itself up. If not, I have that bracket that goes over here that I may be able to hide it and hold it behind as well. So we shall see there. Um, but yeah, pretty much softly mounted up. I'm gonna tighten everything and hope for the best. So yeah. So this is why you always check before you bolt it back together. was leaking a little bit from the both Allen bolts, as you can see. The top one is still leaking a little bit. The bottom one looks to be okay at this point. So I just double check everything. Um, and now I can see this Allen is also leaking. So just make sure you run it while you know, you're checking under it. Pretty straightforward on the bash bar. Just jack up the core support here with preferably something soft like a padded jack. So you can line up the holes for all these. It's on fine. I uh, got the leaks fixed. So just throw the bumper on. Actually I need to see and line it up because I don't know if it'll fit with the bumper or with the bar on, but that's tomorrow's project. So that's it.